my channel. If you are new, I am your girl, Brianna Royale. If you're not new, thank you so much for stopping back by. All that I ask is that you guys hit the subscribe button. Also, hit the notification bell so you never miss another video from me. So, so today's video is about fall inspired lip colors, all the lip colors that I enjoy um, wearing in the fall. Me personally, I don't dibble and devil in a lot of lip colors anymore. I used to, but I'm a gloss girl now, so I just prefer like a brown liner and a gloss. But in the fall, I really do like to wear lip colors because some of my favorites are like browns and maroons and things like that. So I will wear um, lip colors in the fall. So I wanted to come and show you guys some of my favorites. I also picked up a couple of new ones that I'm also going to be trying this video. So I hope you guys enjoy that as well. But yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. I hope you enjoy it. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get right into the video. So first, we're going to start I kind of light and work our way dark. Um, typically for me, when I go for fall lip colors, I'm going for more deep brown, maroons, reds, you know, things like that. But you can also get away with nudes as well in the fall um, by using a dark lip liner or adding, you know, like a, a mauve pink color, which is one of my favorites, actually. So that's where we're going to get started. Now, <clears throat> lip liners, that's where you want to start. You want to get you some really good lip liners. Now, <laughs> listen. Don't judge me, but, you know, these MAC lip liners are not cheap, okay? And so I'm going to use them so I cannot use them anymore. So here we have Chestnut, which is a staple. If you do not have this lip liner, you need it. Now, if you don't want to take the plunge and, you know, get this lip liner, this is probably like $16, $17, I think. Um, NYX has a really good... Uh, pencil. I forgot the name of it. I use it all the time. This is not the one. But they have a brown. I don't see it. It should be right here, but I don't see it. But they have a brown as well. Um, NYX is a pretty good, like, dupe for the matte colors. So I will suggest you go to um, NYX for lip liners because they're really good and inexpensive. Um, my next one that I would tell you to get is Cork Lip Liner. It's also a brown, but it's like, a, it has a different undertone to it. It's a little bit lighter. Love these with nudes. Um, with your, like, red, burgundy, maroon colors, I would go for Night Moth by MAC. Really good. And then, yeah, that's about it. That's it. So you really only need like your browns, like a lighter brown, a dark brown, and like a night moth, which is like this burgundy, reddish, maroon color. And those staples will pretty much go with any type of look that you're trying to accomplish. So um, let's get right into it. So I'm going to start off with a brown and like I said, I'm going to work my way darker. So we're going to start with Chestnut by MAC. I'm going to line up. Okay, I'm going to take this new color. This is a new color for me that I actually want to try, but it is from Morphe. And it's in the color Virgin. So we're going to try this out. Um, as you can see, I put chestnut on my lips. Kind of outlined it. And I kind of drew it in just a little bit. So I could just have the center to put this in too. But that's kind of like what you want to do. You want to outline your lips. And you kind of want to bring it in. You don't want to kind of like um, leave it too, you know, on your line. Just bring it in a little bit. It adds a little color and it helps for the blend of it all. And I will say, out of all things makeup, I struggle the most with lips. I have the hardest time lining my lips. I have the hardest time getting my lips to look right. So that is a struggle area for me. But nevertheless, we're going to get through it. So 
I'm going to be using Virgin, and this is a liquid lipstick. It looks like so. So we're going to apply this now. Okay, this is what it looks like, like this. And what I would do is... I would take the liner again and kind of, you know, make sure it's blended. You can take your finger. This is a liquid lipstick, and that's my first time using that, and it seems to dry pretty fast. So you can apply as much or as little as you would like. Um, if you're cool with the matte lip, you can leave it like this, blend it out as much as you need to, and more, or keep it like this. But I'm going to add gloss on top, and this is one of my favorite lip glosses of all times. This is Clean Kisses by um, Crayon Case. So, so pretty, guys. Like, so pretty. So, we're going to put this on top. so into glosses like I used to hate glosses y'all but I've been so into glosses so this is definitely how I would wear it um this will be like a definite go-to for me so I really like that so here's the look okay Let's move on to the next look. So next we're going to go in with a MAC color. Um, this is an old faithful, like, an OG. Uh, and it is Studded Kisses. I used to wear this all the time. I don't really wear lipsticks anymore. But in the fall is usually when I play with lipsticks. But this is Studded Kisses. It's like a maroon, burgundy color. I think you can still get this from MAC. I don't know. I haven't bought a matte lipstick in years, so I don't know if you can still get it, but I'm pretty sure you can. So let's get into it. I'm going to pair it with Night Moth liner, and we're going to get into the look. Here we go. That was Night Moth and that was Studded Kisses by MAC. I do believe that you can still get both of those at MAC. Um, if you cannot, y'all jump down in the comments and let me know, but I think you can still get them um, from MAC. But here is the color. Now this is a little darker, deeper. Now if you don't, you want to keep like the true burgundy color of this, you can go in with like a... Um, a not so dark liner you can go in with a like a lighter brown or something like that but you kind of always want to use a liner with any lip color you do so your lip it doesn't bleed the liner keeps it from bleeding and all of that and it just looks 
way better when you have a liner on. So don't don't skip the liner step. Like you know, you can use whatever combination you want, but don't you don't skip that step. Um, I probably could have used this liner from NYX to make it also. Uh, this is Copenhagen. Um, I could have used that. It's not as dark as magenta, and it probably would have kept, you know. But this is a nice burgundy color as well. So get it into that. Um, I really like this. This is definitely something that I would wear in the fall, really. <laughs> that's your color if you don't want it to and just take a little bit of it and just that's actually too much like you really don't need a lot just just enough to kind of blend it out and just clean it up and I really like this color y'all this is pretty So this is gorgeous. I love this color. I wasn't expecting it to um, look like this. I thought it was going to be more on the brown side. Um, at least that's what the packaging looked like. But I love this color, this maroon color here. And like I said, I used that lighter brown because I really wasn't trying to get any color payoff from the liner. Just trying to line my lips to make it look nice and uniform and really gorgeous not just like something that's plastered on your lips that's what the liner is for the liner you know outlines your lips and makes it everything look nice and it keeps the stuff from bleeding and all of that so 
I love this color. That's one thing ColourPop has down. They have the formula for a matte lip that is not drying. It still feels soft and moisturizing, but it's giving very much so matte teas. Oh, we love to see it. Here for it, period. So let's go on up. We're going to go in and to our browns. Now I want to go, I got two different browns I want to try. Uh, so we're gonna go back in with um, with our chestnut. And then we are going to try, where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, we're gonna go in with the crayon case color in gumbo. This is a liquid lipstick as well. Sorry. You like that? Kind of suck in, get that air. Help it to dry. Oh, I like this too. Once again, this is Gumbo by the Crayon Cakes. Um, I think they have new packaging now, so it might not look like this. But that is the color. And it is a true, true, true dark brown. You're seeing some of this red from the other colors. My lips are definitely stained. But this is a nice color. You can add layers. However you see fit. It goes on small, soft, smooth, and creamy. sets it off like it definitely gives you that the the look it's giving fall teas fall vibes whatever you're feeling love this um i have another brown that i like as well um this is by um downtown beauty this is why by nyx so um Crayon case is pretty affordable, but if you can't find gumbo, I think it gumbo is one of their popular colors. So if you can't find gumbo, you may um, be able to. Okay, guys, I had to come back. My camera died on me, but we back in action, okay? We are back in action. So I cleared off the brown as best I can. Y'all, I did not know how hard it would be to do a lip video like this. Like, my lips hurt from wiping <laughs> all of this off and my lips are stained and I, ooh, 
I didn't know. I didn't know. But anyway, moving right along. So next, we are going to do a red lip. Now, you know, red is usually associated with, like, with the holiday season and stuff like that, which you still can do. But it also can be a fall color as well. So we're going to go in with the OG, if I can find it. And if you know, you know what the original OG red lipstick is. Okay? Like, period. None really compares. Okay, I lied. Because I do have <laughs> a red that I like just to little bit better than this one but don't tell nobody because we all know who the real og is okay if you know what the real og is put it down in the comments i'll wait i'll wait i'll wait okay you right girl ruby woo if you do not know about ruby woo what have you i'm pretty sure you can get this still um, mine looks raggedy because she's been here for a while. She's the original OG. So, yeah. We're going to go in with the red. And then we're also going to go in with magenta. And this is what's going to kind of make it like a little fallish or whatever. So, let's get right into it. and it just gives it that nice transition and it just makes it real fall like I love this combination this is an OG combination as well um yeah just that the magenta added to that just makes it really really fall and just nice and sultry and Sexy even. So yes, love this. enjoyed it this video was harder to make than I thought like <laughs> yeah um and my lips hurt from wiping all that off because a lot of these were matte lipsticks so it's not easy for them to come off and that is something that you can also um look into as far as with having to wear masks these liquid lipsticks don't really transfer um, like, you know, your regular glosses or anything like that. So, um, if you struggle <laughs> with wanting to wear lipstick in the era where we have to wear a mask, um, <laughs> you might want to try a matte liquid lipstick this fall. Um, like I said, I don't really wear color a lot, but in the fall is usually when I do wear color because I like darker lips so remember to line your lips always and if you want to kind of make your lip a little bit more fall try using a darker lip liner like a brown or a magenta something that um, is a little bit darker in the maroon feel in the maroon area um, I did like the lippies that I tried out. I tried out a couple of new items. If you want to check them out, I'll list them below. But they were really gorgeous. I really loved all the lips 
that I tried today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what was your favorite down in the comments. And also, let me know what you want to see from me again. I will be doing a fall-inspired makeup look, and I may feature one of you guys' favorite fall lippies with it. So, don't forget to let me know which one was your favorite, um, and uh, what do you like. Because me, I'm like a brown girl, so I really enjoy the browns and the maroon colors, so. Thank you so much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And tell everybody you know what your girl is doing here on the channel. Thank you so much. And until next time.